this is video number 550 you and your influence journey we were called to be the light of the world to spread our light deposited in us by God to all of the nations how are you doing on your calling of spreading the light to all the nations I attended a conference on goal setting now recently one of the activities while Pavarotti's Nesim Dormas was playing loudly, loudly in the auditorium filled with about 2,000 people, we had to choose a word. The word we want to send into the world and then shout it out aloud at the top of our voice. The word I choose was influencer. I'm still getting goosebumps while listening to this song, while writing the script. So let's stop and pause, say love for a moment. Here is a short snippet of the song. What is your word? What is the word you want to send out to the world? The following day on Instagram, I saw these two posts. Isn't it just too special? I've, it felt to me as if God was answering from the throne, throne room to say, Hey Nadia, I heard your request. Or it was as if God was sending me a proof of payment for the EFT he has done. So this is my first prayer and my wish for you. May you too experience moments like this where God says He has heard you and He acknowledged your request. Later that same week, I encountered a problem with one of my team members. We had two very different viewpoints on managing Betsy ever, so I consulted with a few of my favorite advisors and counselors on the topic. The topic of leadership aroused time and time again. So I did what I do best when I'm faced with a difficult, difficulty, difficulty, uh, an obstacle. I plunge myself into research. I learn and I grow. So I started listening to this audiobook, which is freely online on YouTube. I'll post the link below. The second chapter in the book was how to influence people. So I decided that it is definitely my strategy from here on forward. I will schedule a weekly day to positively influence people on WhatsApp, directly replying to their requests. This is something I've been doing for the past two years, but currently I'm more focused and more aligned with this. This is something that I started doing purposely, just investing into people. Last week I had the brilliant opportunity once again to work on my dream. My dream at having a house of women, house of hope for women where they can come and hide away for a week and just invest in themselves. We put plasters on emotional needs. Our departure activity is usually designing a personalized joy plan for life. One of my weekly activities I did was to plan and enjoy the weekly replies I sent to the princesses in my life. Then these messages are like seeds I plant. God makes them respond and reply. It's, it is such a holy, sacred moment. This is what I feel like when I'm writing the messages, as if God and myself are sitting in a little tent. He instructs me what to write. The, the ideas and replies just flow like a river. I write Instagram posts to encourage people. I have since, since I've launched this campaign, started also to send the messages out on WhatsApp to a select few individuals. I pre-write these little messages about a month ahead of sending them out. But one of my friends asked me for a message on mirrors. Then the following day, one of my pre-planned and pre-posted messages had a message about wait for it, 
mirrors and I think to myself, how great is our God? Recapping on this journey, firstly I made the decision to be the influencer. Paolo Kulo writes in one of his books, as soon as you make the decision to do something, the whole universe conspires to help you to reach your goals. Now I more believe in God assisting me. Then I prayed over my new journey, asking God to guide me and assist me. Then lastly, I decided to enjoy it. I tried to make everyone see the silver lining in the clouds. The whole universe is here to assist us in reaching our goals. This is one of my favorite videos. This ad from Emirates. Anything is possible. We believe anything is possible. Tomorrow, bridges will fly high above the earth and an entire world will be connected and shared. We are the bridges between people and places, between cultures and ideas, between what is imagined and what is real. The world is an amazing place full of endless opportunities. Tomorrow, we can be anywhere and everywhere, and everything is within reach. Tomorrow belongs to those who inspire a new world and invite more people and places to be a part of it. A better world that is for everyone. A world that is constantly on the move. We cross borders, feel at home in many different places, dare to think bigger and go further, are brave enough to try something new. We inspire conversations about tastes yet to be savored, music yet to be heard, dialects yet to be spoken, and cultures yet to be experienced. We realize our dreams because of who we are, where we come from, and where we are going. Tomorrow is here, and anything is possible. Emirates, hello tomorrow.